is a extremely important panel, I think, uh, to all of those of us that are governors in the, in the West. Um, Washington State is the home of a number of military bases, um, and I found myself um, saying goodbye to a large number of my National Guard that were being shipped over to either Iraq or Afghanistan. At one point, um, not too long ago, uh, a large number was shipped over and I made a pledge to them that I would do everything I could to go visit them. So it was January of that, uh, of that next year that I, I went there to visit them and I met up with about five, five separate bases uh, over in Iraq. And I asked them what they were worried about and what was on their minds and assured them like you, Butch, that well, we were there to take care of their families so that they didn't have to worry about things back home. But it was shocking to me to hear at all of those bases the same thing said to me by the majority of my guard, which is, I'm worried when I come home, am I going to have a job? Am I going to be able to provide for my family? And it was that admonition from our men and women in service that made us step up to the challenge of my home state and say, <coughs> they're over there, they're sacrificing, their families are back here sacrificing. When they come home, we're going to take the best of all they've learned and put it to good use through a number of programs. And so we've worked very hard in Washington State uh, to make sure that when they got home, they found an opportunity to get into the training they needed or to take the training they had to get it recognized by the state and get them into really good family wage jobs.